You guys, it's that time of year again. The tsunami wave of new games and game updates is headed right for us. Soon, I think next week, or maybe a little over a week from now, The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs is going to be coming out. And another couple weeks after that, it's sometime in November, the North American release of Animal Crossing Mobile is coming out. There's going to be updates for everything from niche to dog sled saga and some of the old things. There's going to be new things. I don't even know everything that's coming out. I haven't been able to keep up with it all, but it's coming. The tsunami of just everything. And I'm sitting here staring at my schedule with only two months left out of a very long yet short and very interesting year of 2017 wondering what the heck to be able to provide to you guys to be able to add some brightness some adventure some positivity just a little burst of color into your days as we move into a cold dreary winter I truly do like winter for the traditions and for being able to share chips's favorite holiday which is definitely Christmas but it definitely does get drearier and darker and I have to admit that that is a little bit rough for me so I'm really hoping this winter in particular, we can charge into the cold days feeling really like excited just to be able to share adventures together. So that's kind of going to be the thing to get me through the dreary days of winter is this pumped up excitement of like the sun may have been stolen by the Australians for the season, but I can go and make some great adventures to share with you guys and hopefully share some positivity and smiles and laughter with you. And so this is my call out with the tsunami wave of games coming at looking around myself and realizing I don't think I can keep up with all of this. I don't think I can do all of this by myself. And so I could really use your guys' help to let me know what you are looking forward to with things that have just come out, with games that we tend to do on a seasonal basis, like uh, we usually do Dog Sled Saga, we try to do Sims Medieval, we try to kind of dabble a little bit in some of the, the Tycoon games, especially some of the uh, Zoo Tycoon which comes out tomorrow. <laughs> There's a new Zoo Tycoon that comes out tomorrow too. <laughs> Guys, there's so much and the niche is going to update and they're apparently gonna have whale islands and I got so excited about the niche whale island I actually got a whale necklace to wear during like our live streams. We've been streaming. Are you looking forward to streaming? It's coming guys. The tsunami wave. You can probably name the games that you're looking forward to faster than I can. Animal Crossing New Leaf, Animal Crossing or Mobile, and then New Leaf is going to have mushroom season which I love playing and Animal Crossing would actually be very relaxing to, to let's play and live stream now that I think about it and there's basically a ton coming and I definitely could use some guidance so now is the time where I as the captain shall turn to you as the crew and go you guys where do you want to head because there's too many options the world is full of too many possible potential adventures I need to pick a few to really focus on hopefully we'll be able to make some progress I will do my best but please let me know down in the comments just if you're looking forward to something just staying consistent maybe trying out I've kind of been toying with the idea of just trying out something new maybe once a week maybe on Fridays we could try out some of the new app games we get tons of requests for all the time or just dabble in some of the PC games that we have or even just check in on some of our old series so if you guys could let me know that I always am asking you guys like what games you would like to see and what adventures you would like to see but now more than ever with the tsunami wave coming it's time to know because I'm having I'm having to finally just stand here and admit I can't keep up with all this we're a variety channel we cover a lot of games a lot of games. In fact, we just covered 5,535 with this video I just uploaded. This will be 5,536 videos once I upload this one. Uh, so we've covered a lot and we're going to continue to cover much more. But I'm really hoping to kind of be able to focus on developing some new aspects to our community this winter. Our Patreon community has grown in ways that have significantly changed my life in the last few months and I am blown away and touched and I'm gonna cry I never get we're gonna do snail mail today and I feel like maybe because we're gonna do snail mail I'm like already like Pablo's dog hardwired to start tearing up when I'm talking to you guys because I know I'm gonna open snail mail no theory get through the, the update part the update part okay Ugh. No, don't think about how amazing everybody is too much. I mean, I do think about how amazing you guys are, but I need to get through my points before I just like turn into a blushing puddle slime on the floor thinking about how amazing you guys are. But because 
In the past, last year, we were uploading upwards of 160 videos a month. And that was really exciting and did very well for our channel because we burst through 100,000 subscribers and that was awesome. And we're already almost at 200,000. Oh my goodness, our community has grown so much. I can tell all of you guys to use reusable grocery bags when you go to the grocery store. It'll change the world if all of us did it. It truly will help significantly. And I can tell you important things like that or I can tell you wonderful things like I hope you have a wonderful day and have a chance to smile and imagine man if everybody who is in our community wrote down like three joy moments from their day that feels like it could transform the world too but anyway with our community growing so big and with our community also shifting a little bit to adapt to some new ways to really grow on a deeper level together our patreon community is almost a hundred people strong now and it changed my life since we started it and I have never been so grateful to be able to build up a sense of true online deep friendship again and and it's just fantastic and being able to be on that the private patreon discord which also is for sponsors on on youtube or subs on twitch when we get that going and being able to talk to everybody all day and share pictures of our animals and when people go on walks or to zoos they like live picture stream it for everybody and just cheer everybody on and watch everybody cheer each other on and, and work and build together. It really is amazing and it means so much, but it definitely does require a different kind of work that I do behind the scenes. And then we're getting some really amazing things, which I kind of hinted at just a couple little little things of it on the Instagram that I have, but we've, we're getting some amazing projects prepared for our Etsy shop. And then we're also live streaming a lot. And that too is a new amazing way. We've only live streamed less than 10 times. I think we did our sixth live stream for Niche uh, this Saturday. And it's only been a couple months of doing that. And already I feel like it has helped so much to kind of grow our community. We, I have laughed harder and I have walked away with better memories of Niche and Slime Rancher than I have ever had before because I got to share them with hundreds of you guys. And it's been fantastic, but they definitely require a different amount of time and energy than just pumping videos out like a really frantic little hamster running on a hamster wheel can. And so I don't know if I can tackle 160 videos a month or if I should for my health this year uh, when we move into November and December. And so with the the acknowledgement that I need to kind of ferret away some of my energy so that I can work on, on enjoying the beautiful winter season with the love of my life chips and also building up a deep, rich, beautiful community that is just nurturing the very core of my heart in our Patreon community and with our live streams. That is where I turn to you guys and I go, I don't think I can do all of it. I don't think that there is any possible way I could possibly make enough videos. Even when I was making 180 a month, I still would have some that got left behind that I didn't want to. But being able to hear from you guys directly, what are you looking forward to? What would you sincerely be happy with? It's not just like, what do you like? I don't know about you, but winter's gray, winter's dreary. It has its perks, and I wanna make our adventures some of those perks. So it's, what would you be really happy? What would make you just kinda instant smile to your face to see drop in your sub box? Because I would love to try to provide some of that to you guys this winter. I would love for the next couple months to tackle some new things, to tackle some old things, to mix it up a little bit, to frantically chase after updates and tell our stories and just make it so that those of you who watch our adventures can have that unexpected smile, which hopefully will be expected because believe it or not, behind the scenes, I follow a pretty good schedule. <laughs> just, I would love to hear that so much and it could really help me out. So this is my plea to you guys before we dive in and we really start the winter season, which is a tsunami rush every year because all the game developers are like, yes, Christmas. And I'm like, oh my gosh, help, <laughs> as we get swept away by all of the updates and the new releases. I would love to hear what you guys are looking forward to and guide us 
the forward that way appropriately. And if you guys are looking for certain series or games, please go ahead and check the pinned comment down below. It's just been chaotic trying to keep up with everything and get used to everything. I'm still in recovery mode from my bad burnout a couple months ago, so sometimes things are kind of like missing here or there, but I'm just really happy and just know that I am doing my best behind the scenes to try to bring you as much adventure as I can. I don't know if I'm just getting old, I did turn 29 this year, and I'm just too creaky now and can't seem to make the old bones move as quickly as they should, but I just can't seem to produce 180 videos a month anymore. And we're only hitting maybe 70, <laughs> maybe 80 videos a month. And <laughs> with that, uh, with that, like, just to acknowledge that, I need to be able to kind of pick what I can put my energy into. So this is that open platform where you guys can just leave a comment and let me know not just what you like, but what would make you smile to see. And those are the things that because our community is so unique and it is the way it is, and we have the support of our patrons, I can look at not only the things that are clearly most popular, like all YouTubers need to do to keep a healthy channel, but I can also look at the things that have a lot of the green heart feel to them. And I can try really hard to cultivate those things. I know a lot of you guys are really excited about the return of Zoocrafting, and many of you are excited about the return of not only Warrior Cats, which we're getting going, it's slow but sure, we're trying back there. Trust me. <laughs> but not only like zoo crafting and warrior cats, but just some of the sim stuff and, and some of the more low-key stuff. And that matters a lot to me to get those done, even if they're not as popular. If they're the things that will bring a smile to a lot of you guys who watch these update vlogs face. So yes, your faces or your one mass face. The way I said it was kind of awkward, but thank you guys. So just there's that. The usual, let me know what you would enjoy because oh my gosh, there's so many games and I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I will, I will also save some time in my day to try to go, oh, what would I enjoy playing today? And work on that as well. Thank you patrons for pushing me to also remember to cultivate my own creativity and not just treat myself like a hamster stuck on a hamster wheel. So, on that note, we also have some gifts from our patrons in snail mail today that I would love to open up. I know at least one of these is from a very special, a very special delivery from somebody who heard I have a new way of decorating my joy journals. So we're going to switch from update mode, which is basically just like you guys prepare for the tsunami of games. I don't know what we're going to do. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to see, because I'm going to drown trying to keep up with all of these. And we're going to dive into snail mail. So, okay. Hey guys, I'm really excited. We have a couple little piles of snail mail. I've sorted them out into two piles, so we'll hopefully have another pile later this week. I meant to have one yesterday. Uh, if you need to know like where videos are or what's happening with Siri sometimes, definitely check my Twitter. You do not need to have a Twitter to be able to look at my Twitter. You can just click on the Twitter link and it'll take you straight to my Twitter and you can kind of scroll down and see if there's any updates because I was sick this weekend. There's the flu season, winter that has been kind of like lurking at the corners and I was very sick yesterday. So that's why the snail mail is a little bit late, but I'm so excited because it's here. Oh, all right, so if you guys have questions, I feel like I, I'm forgetting a lot of things. So actually I have been thinking and let me know in the comments if this is a good idea of maybe doing our update vlogs as a live stream. I'm toying with that idea. I don't know if it would be the best thing. I don't know, I definitely couldn't answer all of the questions. But I have been thinking, what do you guys think about kind of like a tea time with my beautiful new green giraffe mug, by the way. It's full of peach tea and I absolutely love it. It goes with the new green plum bobs ready for those Sims live streams right here. Mm -hmm. And my wolf from our last snail mail. I love it. I've been wearing it quite a bit. And um, Wolf Quest is going to update too. Help me. <laughs> There's so many things. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> but basically, uh, would it be more helpful for all of you if we maybe every now and then, maybe not every week, but maybe a couple times a month, uh, or at least once a month, did like update live streams, just kind of chatting, drinking tea, uh, catching you guys up on some of the things that are going on, maybe opening some of the snail mail that looks safe to open on camera uh, with you guys, because then I could answer your questions live. But that also make it a little chaotic because we average about 20,000 comments per live stream. Hmm, 
we'll have to think about that. But yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I know I've been a little bit quiet on the update front of things lately, and I'll be happy to kind of catch you guys up on things. I love actually interacting with everybody in, in these comments because it's like, yay, we get to plan the community together and try to keep it afloat. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into snail mail today because I've been so excited to open these things. Oh my goodness. It was so fun. I walked all the way to the P.O. Box because our car is not working right now and walked all the way back. It was a few miles, but it was a beautiful day and I felt so happy with this big giant bag of snail mail and just thinking about like, oh, I recognize that handwriting. Oh, I know who this is from. So that being said, let's open up the letters first off because I usually like to start with the letters. And we have a big one that's unmarked and it's got some really interesting Chilean empiladas uh, little stamps, which catches my eye because it's been a long time since I've had Mexican food. There we go. But let's open this up and see who it's from. Oh, yay! And thank you so much for the important note on the back of what to be careful for. Oh, it's Chipmunk! Oh, I watched you reading my very first letter on snail mail. I just about exploded. I was very happy. I don't know how you were going to go about it. All I knew is that you were going to show the same way you always do with kindness, like you always do. Oh, when my dad put the letter in the post office, I was scared. I felt like I was forgetting something. Oh gosh, that's so sweet because I was just like, I swear I'm forgetting something really important to tell to my community and oh my goodness, they're gonna think I'm such a flake and I can't remember what it was, just ask me questions. <laughs> and then here I am. Don't worry, I think if we all just kind of approach whatever we do in our community with kindness, then even if we're forgetful geese sometimes, we'll we'll work it out. And I'm so excited, Chipmunk. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I, I was so worried it wouldn't get to you for like, how I don't know how long I waited. 12 year old me freaked out until I saw you reading it on camera. Siri, I really hope you like my fan art and I have much more. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, Ghoulie and Finch! Oh wow! So you spent hours working on these! Oh. oh, when you read my letter on camera, I squealed and across the house my mom heard me. Oh, oh, that's so fun! Your mom likes chickens too? I don't know why I love chickens so much. I feel like I kind of need to start a chicken farm in one of our series somehow. I don't know how, but I would really love to. But let's see what Chipmunk has sent us, my friends. There we go. We have got, oh wow, look at this. Look at this beautiful wolf fan art. Oh my gosh. And yes, Wolf Quest, for those of you who really, really love wolves, uh, which I know many, many, many of you do. You can't see the wall, but there's a ton of Wolf Quest fan art. I rotate what fan art I have up on my wall uh, over behind me, and it's, it's full of Wolf Quest fan art right now. Absolutely beautiful stuff too. And my new sunflower painting, which I'm really excited, or sunflower, sunflower, in Rose Stone's main painting, which I'm really excited about. Oh, there's a cute little baby chick. <gasps> you guys, that's so adorable. I definitely need to figure out, like I wanted to get Story of Seasons going so bad and I just ran out of time because DS games definitely take longer to record than other things. And here is a golden finch and a woodpecker. Look at that, oh my gosh. Whoa, the cranes. Look at these guys. Wow! Oh, fun fact, Chips and I are actually trying to plan on going to see the Sandhill Cranes, which you can see quite a few of in Michigan, so that makes me so excited. I'll have to show them that. Oh, that's beautiful. I would love to put that on the cover of one of my, my snail mail binders that I have. Oh, thank you, Chipmunk! And by the way, Chipmunk has made an actual Chipmunk. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Did you guys like the chipmunk in the end of one of our snail mail videos recently? I haven't seen him around lately. I think the chipmunks may actually be getting ready to hibernate at this time of year. So I'm gonna need to look into that. Oh, and then we have some Tate and Lily fan art. Oh, I love it. I miss Tate and Lily. I cannot wait to be able to spend more time with them in zoo crafting. Like I said, there's so much going on and if you guys can just help guide me at figuring out what's going to bring a smile to your face this winter, I will dive into it and do my best. Maybe not 180 videos the best. In fact, I'm beginning to think that's unhealthy. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I can hear everybody going, what do you, yeah, Siri, yeah, it is. Uh, but 
I will do my best and we'll have hundreds more adventures this time next year, which is so exciting to think about, isn't it? But Chipmunk, thank you so much. I love all of the drawings. The cranes especially really take my breath away because we are hopefully going to go see some of the gorgeous sandhill cranes here in Michigan before they finish flying off, as soon as we get the car fixed. Chips has been promising me a date to go see the sandhill cranes for quite a while, and if we go, rest assured, I will definitely vlog the experience to share with you guys. And then we've got a couple more letters here, one of which is from B. So I'm curious, because is that my sister B? Or is that a new B? How many Bs do we have in the community? That makes me very curious indeed. Because it literally just says, it literally just says B, and it has a little heart next to the B. So I'm very, very curious. All right, let's see. What's this from? Is this, is this a new B? What? Wait. What? Wait, wait, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to show my sister me. <laughs> okay, okay, this is hilarious because, I mean, I love this. This is so hilarious in the, like, this is adorable way because my sister's name is the same name as this B. I think I can say this name. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm like, well, maybe I won't because my sister's name is the same name. Basically, we call my sister B, like that's what we call her in my family, and her name is exactly the same name as this wonderful person who has written in. This is not my sister because this person, you, went to Korea. Oh, that's so fun. And then this person was adopted a long time ago and they went to Korea to meet their Korean foster parents from when they were a baby and that was amazing. And there were lots of cats. So that is so fun, B, that you got to go to Korea and how amazing you share the exact same name and nickname as my sister. So when I saw that, I thought it was mail from my sister. And then the first line is, hi, it's me, and it's my sister's name. So I was like, I don't understand. Is my sister pulling a trick on me? But no, this is from a viewer whose name is also the same name as my sister. How sweet is that? But I'm so glad that you had a wonderful time in Korea and she has sent in some adorable little drawings. Oh, that's so fun. And that's a big trip. I actually went to Korea. Oh, it's Mossy and Scout. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying the cattail adventures. But I actually popped over to Korea um, just for a night, or like it was about five hours actually, not even a night, when we went to the airport on our way to Taiwan. And that was really interesting. We basically noticed that everybody was amazingly well dressed and we found a couch and fell asleep for a few hours and then took a little tiny China Airlines plane to Taiwan. So I have been technically to Korea, but I don't know if just sleeping on a couch in an airport really counts as the whole experience. And then we've got some adorable little slimes that Bee has drawn for us as well. And, ooh, this definitely looks interesting. Oh, this is from Subnautica! Oh my gosh, I do miss Subnautica. I actually think Subnautica might be a really fun series to potentially think about uh, streaming as well. So let me know what you guys think. I may not be able to do everything, but now is the time to collect our resources and our ideas. And B, I'm so glad you had a good time. Talk about amazing, talk about coincidence. I really was like, is my sister, is my sister trying to play a trick on me? That's adorable. <laughs> All right, so let's get through the last of our snail mail because I definitely need to stop rambling and start making more adventures because we've got a lot coming at us. I definitely need your guys' help at figuring out which ones for sure. And this one is from Nebula. So that is a beautiful way, Name, by the way is that your real name because holy like creative parents there we go and nebula has sent in a little letter oh it's so pretty i have a little tree look it says to siri and it has a little tree on the back oh my gosh no focus camera the camera's like nope all right let's see oh it's so cute <laughs> It looks like Tate and a chocobo and a little snail mail on the bottom. That's adorable. Oh, it's niche challenges. I see, I see. 
Uh, let me glance over this to make sure it's okay to read. Hi Siri, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. I love niche cattails, untold tales, I play it too, and all of your adventures. I have a niche challenge on your business email. I said it during your niche stream, but I couldn't say it in live chat. I know live chat is very, very busy. That's one of the reasons we have the Patreon private chat for live streams, because <laughs> you can actually kind of read the conversation. And then that is so much fun. Oh, that's so cool. And that's adorable. <laughs> I do love Rowlett. Thank you so much. And I will very much look forward to your art. I cannot wait to see more of your cattails art because that's going to be so fun. Your handwriting is infinitely better than mine, my friend. And I think that Charlie is an amazing name for a pet bird who turned out to be female. That's adorable. Nebula. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Nebula, thank you so much. You have a beautiful drawing style, by the way. I think that it would be amazing to see what you would try out for Inktober. And I will very much look forward to going back through my mail for Siri at gmail.com account, which I r rattle out because <laughs> you can tell I've been saying it a lot on live streams. Looking for your artwork and making sure that I have it from our mossy and our niche and everything else. If you guys have been sending fan mail, which you totally can do, to the mail for Siri account, uh, it's mail for Siri at gmail.com com like I rattled out earlier and basically it's the the like digital PO box <laughs> I get really behind on it sometimes because we get a lot of mail there but I love all of it and I'm actually talking with chips about for Christmas for an early Christmas present for myself possibly being able to go ahead and replace the bookshelf back here and get a little digital photo frame so that I can have some of your guys digital art kind of rotating back uh, behind me while I do these update vlogs or while we live stream so there's a chance you might see like any of the digital art that you send in coming through on the live stream as well or because it would just be like rotating on a digital photo frame so that's one of my big goals as a Christmas present to myself because it just would be amazing to look around my office and be like there's more examples of the way our adventures have inspired someone and that always makes me so happy <laughs> so all right let's see we've got a package right here We've got three little packages, not so little actually, to sort through, uh, to wrap off. And this one is from Waterloo. It doesn't have a name on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, it's a package in a package. What, that's so cool. Okay, hang on here. Read the letter first. Ooh, and it's got washi tape all over it. That's so cool. And it says it's okay to read on camera. Read the letter first. Ow. <laughs> Alpaca, dear friend. Don't worry about crying with this letter. There will be no emotional outpourings from me today, friend. I just wanted to send you something fun. I know you've started using stickers in your joy journals, so I wanted to make sure you had a nice little stash of your own. Some of these came from my own sticker stash, and some I picked out because they made me think of you. I hope you will enjoy them. From Renee, Renee! <laughs> Renee is one of our patrons. She is actually, um, oh gosh, Renee is the turtle at the end of the Patreon, uh, the Patreon wildlife little in screen at the very end of our videos now. And I, you, we talked about this. Even though you say no emotional outpourings and I won't cry on, on stream. Won't cry, I'm not streaming. <laughs> I'm so emotional, sorry. <laughs> Basically, thank you. Thank you. And yes, guys, so as you guys know, I'm a big believer in joy moments and in joy journaling. It changed my life back when I was a sarcastic, snarky, cynical, little hateful creature who lived in her parents' basement. Believe it or not, that was me just five years ago. And I have transformed my life because I started joy journaling. I have tons of completed joy journals. All of these journals back here are actually completed joy journals. The goal of joy journaling is just to put three bullet point things in my joy journal a day that was decent, nice. Something I like about life. I like the color green. I had clean socks. They can be really casual things. They could be more emotional things. Uh, earlier today, one of my birds was pecking like a little woodpecker on her seed container because she was just curious about it. I thought that was hilarious. So that kind of little lighthearted moment went into my joy journal. And I know it sounds silly, but after almost five or six years, maybe longer, of joy journaling, it never occurred to me to put stickers in them. <laughs> And I had all these stickers and I kept seeing people show off their sticker stash on our Patreon Discord. And it was amazing and I was so envious of those amazing stickers. But I was like, but what would I use stickers for? Joy journals! 
That was, it's such an obvious thing. Where's Rowlett? Rowlett, come here. This is my current joy journal right here, my Rowlett joy journal, and it's where I had the epiphany of I can put stickers in my journal, and now I have stickers. I have stickers in my joy journal, which sounds like common sense to most people. Of course you would have stickers in your joy journal. I mean, why not? It's your journal. You can put all the stickers you want in it, but it didn't occur to me until just this month that I could do that. And so I've been filling up my October joy journal. Yes, I go through them almost one a month because mostly of you amazing people. I write down people's nice YouTube comments. I write down things that happened, especially since we started the Patreon chat. I write down little milestones we hit or fun things that happened in games, fun moments when Chips and I are out on walks, uh, nice things people said during streams, and it makes a huge difference. It really does, but I'll ramble about joy journals another day. I definitely want to see this. Renee, thank you. <laughs> Renee is apparently the sticker queen. She very much enjoys stickers and has a whole bunch of them. And sent this off after I mentioned how I actually don't have very many stickers because I figured what would I use them for? So I only had a tiny handful of stickers left over from when I was nannying and Renee has apparently decided to hook me up. Oh my gosh, so many stickers. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so exciting. What, look at these. Guys, look at all these stickers. This is so cool. We have wildflower stickers. <gasps> That's gonna be so fun. I should go on walks. Oh, it's Flying Dutchman's plant. Pants, Flying Dutchman's pants. That's one of my favorite wildflowers. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so exciting. Bleeding Hearts, another one of my favorite flowers. Oh, and Columbines, Black Eyed Susans. I'm gonna have to save these. And then a lot of these actually grow native in the area. And when I see them, we have some Lily of the Valley in my own front yard that come up every year. There's some crocuses and irises. Yeah, I'm gonna save these. And then every time I find them, when we, we hit spring again and the sun has returned to us from the Australians, then I will definitely have to go ahead and, and use them in my joy journal. So there you go, guys. There's a good idea. There's a sandhill crane. Oh my gosh. You guys are like telling me that it is time for Chips Night to go on that date to go see the sandhill cranes. That's the second crane of the day. How amazing is that? Oh, these will be so fun to use. Thank you, and they're such cute ones. Alpacas, oh my gosh, alpaca is a running joke in our Patreon Discord, I love it. And there's frogs, oh my goodness. This is gonna be so cool. I actually am like, I'm in a sticker mood. This is a new phase of my life, being obsessed about stickers. I don't have many stickers, so this is gonna be fantastic. This is so cool. Renee, thank you so much. And sunflowers. Oh, I'm gonna have to save some of those for our special, like, um, our special things that we do in, in Star Stable. Cats and Dogs is coming out. This is perfect for cats and dogs. I actually have the, um, <laughs> I've been saving my Sims 4 journal that was sent to me from Make2, an amazing couple who runs the YouTube channel Make2. They went to Sims Camp and got two of the journals and so they sent me one because I really, really, really wanted one and this is going to be my joy journal for next month when we're playing Sims and Sims 4 and I am so excited. I am so excited. I have a feeling I need to plan other things to record now because once Sims 4 Cats and Dogs comes out, my life will disappear for the next two weeks and that'll be like the only thing I'm able to focus on. But I'm so excited because now we have cat and dog stickers to use in our Sims 4 joy journal. So that's gonna be so cool. This is gonna be my joy journal. I have a feeling I might fill it up before <laughs> before November is even over. So it's a good thing I have backup joy journals. Um, but oh my goodness, I'm, I'm definitely rambling too much. I'm just excited to talk to you guys again. Maybe, maybe a live stream format would be best for this. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe an hour, maybe once or twice a month uh, to just kind of chat, catch up, answer questions. We've got some really beautiful stickers. Woodland stick, Lisa Frank. <laughs> This is an inside joke. If you guys notice on our Star Stable thumbnails, I try to make them look really garishly bright sometimes. And that's an inside joke between myself and some of the Star Stable PR team and some of the patrons that I try to mimic Lisa Frank. For those of you guys who remember the Lisa Frank stuff from when I was a kid, <laughs> I don't know if Lisa Frank is still around, but I try to mimic that on our Star Stable thumbnails just kind of as a joke. So that's hilarious. That's going in my joy journal. That's how easy keeping a joy journal is and it it's changed my life guys 
Oh my gosh. Speaking of Lisa Frank, speaking of Star Stable stuff, this is perfect. Perfect. That kind of like over the topness and in here to celebrate the last of autumn as the autumn days are beginning to slip by. Renee, thank you. Look at all of these. We've got like harvest season. Oh my goodness, perfect for harvest season and finishing up the Calberry challenge. We've got dinosaurs, perfect for title ecology. Science, look at all of that. It makes me wanna go and build things inside of our, our zoo crafting lab labyrinth that we've got going. Thank you so much, Renee. That's just, oh, that's perfect. And I just, see what I mean, guys? There's so much, there's so many ideas, so much excitement. I just can't wait to share all of it with you guys and, and clearly rambling as long as I have. Yeah, let me know. Maybe we should start doing live streams for update vlogs. I feel like it might be a little bit easier to communicate and get some things across and answer your guys' questions in real-time format. And maybe if we have just little patches of snail mail like this, opening some of it up on camera. I think I would really love that. So let me know, guys. Let me know what you think. All right, and then we have another package. Thank you, Renee. I'm so excited. Uh, from Bowman. So we have another package, and it's got quite a few things in it. I'm going to open it very carefully, and let me see if I can <laughs> open it properly. We have, whoa, what? This is so cool. Okay, hang on, guys. I think we're supposed to read this first. Uh, warning, may contain scissors, laughter, and tears. Read on camera. And then that's part two. So... Uh, hi Siri, hopefully this handwriting is good. Anyway, my name is Maddie and I am an 11 year old artist. Oh, and Maddie has covered this whole thing with so many adorable little footprints and little paw prints from animals. I am an 11 year old artist, speaking of which there's some art in here. I love all things animals and you're such a good channel for me. Handwriting will slowly get worse as I get excited. I love almost all the series, but my favorite series is Horse Haven, which is fantastic because I just got Horse Haven working again. It broke for like a solid three months and I couldn't make the game record so now it's finally working again uh, <laughs> oh I'm so glad that we're able to be a happy place for you after hard days at school that makes me so happy oh and then let's see and then oh, I will say hi to chips for you and then <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I really hope you're having a good time, but I'm really glad that you are feeling a lot better getting into your artwork. I honestly feel, and I haven't said it enough in recent vlogs uh, and recent updates or, or anywhere really, but I was really big into reminding you guys not only about joy journaling and joy moments, but even when your heart is breaking, joyful creation can heal beyond words. It's something I just said offhand one day in a zoo crafting episode, and a lot of people picked up on it and actually ran with it as like a mantra, where even when your heart is breaking, if you can find something that you can create that sincerely brings you joy, it can heal you more than any amount of talking about your problems or trying to run away from your problems has ever helped. It's just one of many, many healing tactics that you should try, but it was something that really resonated with me and actually Katie, Katie B, who's another one of our patrons and a very long time supporter, Katie of the tiny hats. I've got like her stuff all over my office, um, including like that's one of the reasons I need another bookshelf to have a little display of all of the amazing things she sent in, including, can you see them? There's a little giraffe display down there that she sent in too. And my tiny hat is actually right there on top of the birdcage right now. But I think being able to move into your artwork when you're trying to, to get through some really rough things truly can help heal you in ways that are just indescribable. And I would love to look at some of your artwork now. So let me go ahead and open this up draw a picture of you oh this is cute so hang on I'm gonna use the little scissors very carefully to be able to see but she has made a whole bunch of art oh so she has drawn a picture there we go there's a picture of me right here and then there is a cat from a warrior cat series let me go ahead and very carefully use these there we go very very carefully scissors I don't want to accidentally cut your artwork it's always fun when you guys send interactive stuff to you. But yeah, I'm really feeling the live stream thing. I kind of, oh, there we go. Wolf Lily, one of her custom cats. So an original character cat that we can definitely add into the list. Thank you so much for that. And it has a little bio and everything. Let me just glance over it really quickly. 
She got the name Wolf Lily because when she was just an apprentice, she got attacked by dogs, and now she has a scar on her ear. Lily is her name because it looks like there's a plant on her forehead. Oh, that's so pretty! So we have Wolf Lily with a little clipped ear from a dog fight there, and then we've got a little mysterious piece right here. Let me go ahead and open it up very carefully. Do, 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 do. And then what do we have? Oh, oh no, scissors! <laughs> Needing to use the scissors to open everything. That's so funny. And then this is a warrior cat drawing as I believe the last art that she has sent in that she's done. Oh, it's Creek! You guys, check her out! Our beautiful Silver Tabby Creek in our Cattails adventures. I love her. Thank you so much. Oh, and also the last little gift sent in, a coloring book from Arbor Day. That is pretty fantastic. There's a lot of, ooh, look at all those trees. That would be very relaxing to sit down and to do some of the, the tree artwork for sure. But thank you so much for that. I'm so glad that you're enjoying our adventures. And yeah, sincerely, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Sometimes if you're having a really hard time, there can be nothing else that really helps you feel more in control of when life feels really, really bad than when you can create something and it just brings you joy. Like from your own heart like create it just because it makes you happy not because other people are going to be happy about it not because you can you can show it off to others but just because it makes you happy and that's also something i try to find a balance of on the channel that's why sometimes you'll see things like stardew valley that just makes me happy and sometimes you'll you'll see things that i know will make other people like really really happy too but never lose sight of that and i think whenever i have kind of really lost my way in life is when I have lost the ability to really find what makes me happy and just joyfully dive right into that. So don't lose that. And I think art in its many, many forms is a great way to do that. So I really hope that that will help you when things are rough and that life will kind of perk up from there. And also it is now sleeting and storming. So let's go ahead and wrap up with our very last package, a adorable box from the Perez family, which I'm really excited to see. So let me go ahead and open this. It has a fragile stamp on front, so hopefully everything's okay. <laughs> and this is so cute. <laughs> We have a little face right here. Okay, let's see what we have. I love your vids. I watch your vids every day and love the niche named Tataku. And I am eight years old from Ruby. Thank you, Ruby. I'm so excited to get your package. Hi, Siri. My daughters and I love your videos and the game Niche. I have played over 500 hours. You have definitely beat me there. I have played only about, uh, I think we're up to 200 something hours now. Um, but I definitely have had to record most of those. But man, that's a Amazing. You've played more than me. I'm really excited to hear that there are some more niche fans in here. I love your stories. The Ukiya tribe is my favorite. I fell in love with Tataku's fluffy mamut foot, but I also think Blue from your recent Pendleberry tribe is very a beautiful is a very beautiful nicheling. Don't forget to rescue her from the ball of polyfill protecting her on the journey to you. What? Hope you enjoy them. They would have made cute babies from Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer and Ruby. Wow, look at the artwork sent in here. Oh my gosh, Angelina. We have a whole family here. Thank you. I'm so excited. I love niche, as you guys can tell. And I, I need to like make a whole, I need, I need that bookshelf that I'm talking about with getting with chips for my Christmas present to myself so that I can have like a whole little niche shrine at this rate. But you guys, what do we have here? We have, oh my gosh. <gasps> The Yukir tribe to talk to. This is so cute. He has his own little name tag. <gasps> look at him and his own little mammoot feet. Oh my gosh. And look, he's even got the little, oh, the little mane and the side pieces. I love him. Oh my goodness. I need a whole nicheling shrine. I have so many nichelings. He's so soft. He's so soft. If this, if this is how fuzzy like mammoot foot would be, then if I was a baby nicheling, I would just constantly be snuggling whoever had mammoot foot. This is the softest I have felt. Oh my goodness, I love his name tag. Thank you so much. Angelina, is Angelina? Yes, Angelina and Ruby, and I want to make sure I get your mom's name right, because Jennifer, there we go, thank you. And then I think right here, I want to make sure, yeah, nothing in there. We have one more little bag, and let me open it up really quickly. 
and see what's inside. Apparently she's hiding in here to make sure that she's nice and safe, but is this blue? Is this blue from the Seeker's Journey Tribe? She has a nest! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my gosh! Okay guys, she's hiding nice and safe. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at her! Oh my gosh! Look at her! Wow! <laughs> she has the tail! She has the face! This is fantastic! Thank you so much! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna make sure that she's safe in her little nest right here. And we've got blue, guys! This is so cool! So, from the Seeker's Journey to us, she has made it all the way here, safe to my home, where she will join my wonderful growing tribe of nichelings. I have a huge pack now. We have black, rose, and blue, so we've got some nice contrast between the two. And then we've also got uh, our wonderful Doli from another one of our fantastic patrons, Callum, sitting right over here. She's got a whole base with her too. There we go. We have got nichelings. I have more nichelings from last snail mail too. The softest ever nicheling right here. We've got our nichelings right over here. You can see a whole bunch of them from Carrie from Australia. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you. I am so excited to have blue and to see everybody's favorite nicheling is a little bit different than the others. There you go, blue. And I thank you. For brightening up my day and thank you so much for for being there and for building such a beautiful community together i always worry i don't say the words that are important enough to express how much you guys mean to me and how much you change my life and i just ramble on for like 40 minutes <laughs> trying to tell you and i still can never find the right words to express how grateful i am and how touched I am and how much you guys change my life every day and guide my thoughts and what I want to do every day and that's why I ask at like the beginning of this this update like what do you guys want to see I know that those answers are going to be as diverse and as multiple as all of you and for the hundred people I ask who watch this then I'm gonna get a hundred different answers most likely but from the bottom of my heart I really hope Whatever our adventures are, whatever we end up doing, they can just bring a smile to your face and they can give you a little just pinch of the seeds of joy that you guys give me in just being here and giving us an opportunity to kind of come together as a community and, and do this and grow together and just thank you. And one day I hope to find the words to say thank you deeply enough. <laughs> but until next time guys, please, Feel free to leave your questions, your comments, your suggestions of what you would like to see as we ride out the tsunami wave coming towards us this winter. And if you think that update vlogs as live streams would be a thing, I actually think now that we've done a couple live streams, it might be a lot more helpful on the format because there's so much going on in our community. I feel like I can answer the questions a lot faster that way. And I feel like it would be really fun to be able to share with everybody the creations together and the surprise together and the joy together so I would really love that I would really love that and I think that that's where we'll start moving for our live streams in the future uh, for our update vlogs I mean in the future so if you guys think that that would be a fun thing let me know and if you have any questions let me know and if you know what the heck direction we should try to point ourselves in as we ride out the chaos of the coming tsunami of games please let me know and if you think we should just go where our heart takes us and I should throw myself 110% into sims and simulators and who knows what else this winter then let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.